There are 39 content creators in this tournament who are insane at PvP. And then there's me. But I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna outsmart every single one of them. A few weeks ago, I was invited to an ultra hardcore tournament held by a group called OT. We have gathered 50 of Rust's best content creators to make them face off against each other in our new UHC game mode. Now, in this tournament, there's tons of PvP sweaty Chad YouTubers and streamers who are expecting to beat me. But I have one secret advantage that no one knows about. Now, weeks before this tournament went down, OT needed play testers to make sure the game mode worked properly. Well, a ton of my friends and close community members were invited to become play testers, and they were able to sneak me valuable information to help me win this tournament. And it's the one advantage I have over these sweaty chats. So, a week before the tournament started, I spoke to a good friend of mine, Wub, who is the very first winner of this UHC game mode. Soon yes, we're going to be put into a tournament full of chads, sweaty PvPers, oh, people who have 10,000 plus hours. Some, some of these guys have 20,000 oh, hours, okay? They need to see graphs. Alright, so the first thing you need to know is every monument except for like the lighthouse has an elite crate spawn now. Wub just informed me if I wanted a good gun, I would need to go to a monument that has an elite crate spawn. But the only monument that doesn't have a elite crate spawn is the lighthouse. And then it hit me. Wait, Wub, if everyone's gonna be going for like the tier 3 and tier 2 areas for elite crates, do you think I could go to lighthouse since no one would go there? Would that work? You have to give me a second to think about that. Every single person in this tournament will be so focused on the bigger monuments with the good loot. But if I go to the worst monument in this game, I shouldn't run into anyone because no one is weird enough to camp lighthouse since there's no good loot. So Wub secretly sent me the map, and on the map there's three lighthouses. The ones on the top of the map and the left of the map are the bad lighthouses. Because they're near launch site, military tunnel, and water treatment which increases the chances of me being near a pvp chat but the lighthouse on the right is in a completely tier one area where no pvp -er would want to go you got this all if right. you bring it back you might get a free ot mouse pad i actually don't have a mouse pad so that'd be great but all right sounds good man i have to get lucky on my spawn and pray i spawn near the right lighthouse because in this game mode you only have three lives until you're eliminated so if i kill my player model for a new spawn point that would take away one of my three lives so pretty much whatever spawn point i get i have to commit to Coconut friendly. Wait, do we actually have to play it? Do we have to like, play the game? Because I don't fucking know. I mean, kind of. Hamburger. Confusion, do you know your mic is shooting? Oh shit, it started. Oh. Fuck, please tell me. I'm. Please tell me. Okay, we're near the lighthouse. We can run to the lighthouse. All right, we're going. We got insanely lucky and spawned close enough where I could run to the lighthouse we wanted. Okay, we got the lighthouse that we wanted. We wanted the tier one lighthouse down at the bottom. And I can get farmed up, I can get stuff, I can make it to the end. Because I'm going to that arena. That center arena, I'm going to make it. That arena, we're going to get to that arena, baby. Now, that giant dome ahead is the final arena. There's three stages to this tournament. The grace period, where PvP is disabled and everyone has time to farm, build, and get weapons. Then the PvP phase, which lasts one hour and you could be eliminated from this tournament if you lose all your three lives. But if you survive all that, you enter the third stage, which is the final arena, where it's a final deathmatch Hunger Game style with the border slowly closing into the center. But first, we need to get to Lighthouse. I, I highly doubt anyone will get to Lighthouse. What are the chances anyone would want to go to Lighthouse? Now, this tournament is called UHC, which stands for Ultra Hardcore. The reason why it's hardcore is because there's no farming. Like, it's actually disabled. So the only way to get guns and armor and other items is through barrels and crates. Then you can get resources by recycling those items to build a base. So that's why it's so crucial to have Lighthouse to myself, because not only do I get barrels and mid-tier crates to myself, I also get my very own recycler. There she is, the Lighthouse. I hope no one's here, man. I hope no one's here. No one would be weird enough to go here, right? No no one would even have that in their mind. Oh my god, no one's here. We got the crates at the bottom. This could be huge, guys. No way this is gonna work. Oh yes, we do! It's blocked off! As I arrived to Lighthouse, there wasn't a single person in sight, which meant my plan was working so far. While everyone was going for the good monuments with elite crates, I was hidden away on my own lighthouse. Look at that, we already got the forest raider kilt. Look at that, boom! So we know how we can get our armor. I just still don't know how I'm gonna get a gun. Now, I'm able to get armor easily from these barrels, but the only issue as mentioned earlier is Lighthouse is the only monument on this map that doesn't spawn elite crates with guns. While everyone on the map is getting high tier military weapons, I'm getting melee weapons. So that's why I talked to another good friend of mine who was a playtester for this event. I'm actually gonna be living at Lighthouse. What do you think about that? It's not a bad idea as long as no one lives beside you. And at Lighthouse, no elite crates are gonna spawn or military crates. Where would I be able to get a gun? There's a dome in 
in the middle uh -huh. where you can buy rifle bodies and stuff. Okay, so I have to run all the way through the middle to get a, like a SMG body or something or a rifle body? Yeah. All right, am I, you think I can do this, Bez? Yeah. So according to my friend Bez, there are vending machines at the dome in the middle where I can buy rifle and SMG bodies to craft a gun. So I needed to run over and buy a gun because in 15 minutes, the grace period would end and PvP would be enabled and I'd be stuck with melee weapons. But before I did that, I heard a noise outside of Lighthouse. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. No. 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 Someone's here. Someone came to Lighthouse on a boat and my secret spot was compromised. There could be a PvP chat down there about to catch me hiding at Lighthouse and ruin this whole plan. Fuck, someone's here. Our spot has been compromised. Yo, who's there? It's Fancy. Who is, who is this? Flack! Up, oh bro? my god, Flack! Thank god it's you, man. I, I was scared someone was coming up on the boat, and I'm like, oh my god, it's gonna be one of those chads, but I'm so glad to hear it's you, man. How you doing? <laughs> Thank god the person who pulled up at Lighthouse was a good friend of mine, Mr. Flack. Flack has been in many videos of mine, and we even did an interview podcast on his channel, so I was relieved to discover it was him. Nah, nah, bro. Just, just us. I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited. God, we're almost out of time, though. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I gotta quickly run to the... To the dome. I'm about to leave here in a second, but uh, I need to buy something. But yeah, what, what you doing here, man? No, no, no stress. Please don't uh, tell me it's gonna stay. I don't want to have to kill uh, just, Flag. I, I decided to farm ocean. Oh, nice. That's smart. I, I'm gonna be back later. Uh, I gotta go to uh, the dome real quick, but I'll see you around. Good luck, brother. Uh, yep, yep, yep. If I don't see you when I'm back, uh, good luck. Now is the perfect time to leave Lighthouse to go buy a weapon because I didn't want Flack knowing I was gonna camp at Lighthouse. The more people that know I'm at Lighthouse could potentially destroy the plan. God, Flack, I'm sorry I love you, but I really hope you're not there when I get back because uh, I don't want to have to kill you, Flack, so please. It was a peaceful run to Dome, but soon I'd be interrupted yet again. Yo, Fancy, what's up, man? Oh, hello, hello, Tacular. How you doing? I'm just, uh, scanning the area real quick. I don't notice that you're teaming up with anybody. The host of this event was another YouTuber named Tacular, who was streaming this event to 700 viewers on Twitch, and he came into my voice call for an interview. But one thing about Tacular is he is one of the best PvPers in this game, so it's the perfect opportunity to ask him for advice. Since you're a PvP god, you know, and I need your recommendation, huh? Uh, what yeah. SMG should I make here? Should I go for a Thompson or like an MP5? What do, you, what do you think I should go for here as someone who doesn't PvP a lot? Don't even bother with the MP5. That shit's so 2000 and late. That's just rubbish, okay? Just get that out of your mind. You want to try and get a Thompson. Okay, okay. Don't so Thompson is, is the option here? That's my best chance? Yeah, seriously, your best chance. I'm going to buy a Thompson. Thank you so much, Tacular. I appreciate your input. No worries, Fancy. Look, honestly, I think you're probably one of the smarter ones in this event. Now that I think about it, these guys, they're playing fucking checkers, but you're out here, you're playing chess. <laughs> Do you really mean you that, Tech? Do you really chess. mean that? I mean it. I mean it. Uh. I mean it. I think I think you got a good chance here. Seriously. Alright. There we go. We got our SMG body. We're gonna make a Thompson with this. Now we go back to Lighthouse. Alright. Sweet home. Now let's just hope Mr. Flack isn't here or anyone else. Or anyone else. Honestly, I'll take Mr. Flack over everyone else though. Flack, are you home? It looked like Mr. Flack had disappeared, so we had Lighthouse to ourselves again, but it was minutes away before the grace period ends and the Chad PvPers were gonna start hunting. Okay, I see these wooden barricades keep spawning, which could be good. It could alert us if someone's coming through. But one advantage I had at camping at Lighthouse is that there are two wooden barricades blocking the entrances, so players have to destroy it if they want to enter. So if anyone sneaks up to my lighthouse and I don't realize it, I'm completely safe, because all I have to do is use my ears. If someone starts breaking the barricade to enter the lighthouse, I know someone is here and it gives me time to hide. Alright, ice cold Thompson, blue for fancy orb. Okay, this might be good. It was the final seconds of the grace period and PvP was gonna be enabled for the entire server. While every content creator went for high tier monuments, built bases, and were much geared than I was, I was the only weirdo living in a tier 1 monument. Alright, PvP is enabled, now we watch people die. Oh my god, look at the chat. People are actually dying. The plan was in full motion. It's scuffed already. What a fucking nerd. I wish I had the aim going like that. Oh my god, my torment's basically over. I got one more life. While the entire server was fighting each other and losing their lives out in the dangerous areas of the map, I was comfortably sitting at Lighthouse with my toes out watching it unfold. It was beautiful. It was perfection. My plan was working. While everyone's out there killing each other, I'm just gonna chill here. That is how you outplay the chads. <gasps> oh my god. What am I doing? 
what am I doing, dude? But after 12 minutes of camping lighthouse during the PvP phase, I had my first visitor. Yo, oh, there's someone in there. Don't kill me. Oh. I got one life. Fuck. Fuck. Someone's down there. Hello up there? Hello. You're scaring me, man. Bro, I got one life. I can't be I can't be dying here, bro. What, I don't want to be What's your name? One out. What's your name? Green. Green? You you're sus, bro. You're sus. Listen, man. I just have a phone. I'll just I can leave. How about that? I'll leave. All right, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Do you have intel for me? Like any intel? How what happened with your with your lives? I died to Bradley and then I died at a satellite dish to I don't remember, but it might have been Deathwing, but I don't remember. All right, uh here, do you want uh here you can have this. I'm so s I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Green. I'm so sorry. I'm a b oh. I I'm, I'm an evil man. Yes, I know. I killed an innocent man and eliminated his last life from this competition and I was filled with guilt. I have to do whatever it takes to defend my lighthouse and make sure no one snitches my plan or spreads the word I'm camping here. Was it wrong? Yes. But it's one less person I have to worry about when the PvP stage is over and all the final contestants are brought to the final arena. Can't believe I've done that. I can't believe I've done that. I had to. I had to, guys. Alright? I did not want to kill him, okay? But I realized... These people are my competitors. I need to do what I have to do to get to the end, all right? After that, I realized Lighthouse is slowly consuming me and making me do things I wouldn't normally do. This place was making me go crazy. I have to do that. I have blood on my hands. Is that someone? Someone's here. Someone's here. So someone is here. Fuck. What the fuck? What is going on? Now, I know I'm going crazy at Lighthouse, but items were dropping in front of me. Who's- who's trolling me right now? Oh, wait, it's- it's Lost? Wait. Lost, you could pick this up? Wait, wait, wait. Lost, how can you interact with the stuff? It was a good friend of mine and fellow YouTuber, Lost. Lost was eliminated from this challenge and lost his three lives. But what I discovered is when you're eliminated, you can still spectate. And when spectating, you can still interact with items and drop or pick them up from the ground. So I quite literally had an angel over my shoulders protecting me in this tournament. Lost, Lost, wait. Do I have an angel speaking to me? Drop something to me if you're listening, Lost. Drop something to me. A gear in front of my toes. Oh my god, he is here! Holy fuck! Oh my okay, oh thank you, oh thank you, oh my god, this is amazing. Toss one crude oil if there's anyone, like, a few grids near me. Okay, alright, toss two if there is not. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, okay, okay, okay. Now I realize that I'm practically talking to a ghost here, and if anyone else saw this, they'd think I'm crazy talking to myself. Let's check out Fancy. Fancy did say he was going to the lighthouse. Duh. He is I'm just- doing better than at least half the people in the lobby. What the- is the f- is it... oh. Who the fuck's chucking oh, him shit? shit bad, dude. Who the fuck's he talking to? Dude. Who the f*** is he talking to? This guy's delusional! Mate, there is nobody around! Stop talking to yourself. Fancy. Who the fuck is he talking to? I'm so confused. This guy's talking to himself. There's nobody around him. Some next level delusion. Great. In front of 700 live viewers, I looked delusional talking to myself. And I found out pretty quickly because one of my friends were watching it live and she clipped it. Yo, I think Tacular's watching us, dude. Lost. How could you set me up like this? Oh, so it gets yes. Yes. Okay, okay. Maha Bibi, yes Maha Bibi. Oh, you're so cute. But it wasn't long until I'd get another lighthouse visitor. I heard a footstep. Someone's here. Someone is here. This is not good. Before I do it, I just want to say I'm so sorry, Gup. I love you. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I no. have to put you down. Just what? drop all your weapons. <laughs> just make this easy. No. Just make this easy, Gup. Drop all your weapons, all right? I don't want any shenanigans. I don't have any weapons. Listen, man, Wait. How many lives do you have? I have. How many lives do you have? Uh, I have one. Oh, hell no. Gup, listen, man. I have a family to feed, all right? I can't believe you would do this to me. Listen, man. Just look away. Just please turn around so this is easy for me, all right? Just please. <laughs> Get away from me! <laughs> what the fuck? <gasps> no! 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 <laughs> 
I now had the blood of two innocent men on my hands. I realized by living in a tier 1 area on the map, the people who died and are starting fresh will go to Lighthouse since it's the easiest monument to get a new start. But every single person who tries to do that runs into Mr. Fancy Orb. Is it ethical to do this? Not at all. But it does make it easier for the final death match in the dome later in this video. Oh my god. Don't open the fucking door. Stop. Stop doing it. Lost. Lost. Stop doing that. I, I, I'm, I'm serious. Stop. You're, you're, you're actually tweaking me out, dude. I really didn't want to have to do that. I also discovered that Lost can also interact with doors, which is absolutely crazy. OT, who's hosting the tournament, probably doesn't even realize this, but it's something that could be severely exploited. And he confirmed it with a note he dropped to me. With 30 minutes left before the final death match, I realized I'm severely undergeared. All the other chads who have tier 3 weapons and armor are going to destroy me, especially since I'm not good at PvP. Well, that's why another playtester this week gave me some interesting advice. So you are in UHC playtesters that Correct. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty much a pro, what can I say? So I know how I can survive the PvP stage, but I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get in that arena. You know I'm not good at PvP, but you've been in that arena, how can I survive it? You gotta just book it for the center, man. You gotta secure that, you gotta get something down. If I run out to the middle, that's a suicide mission. Get something down, get some cover down, get anything. Just secure that point, because it's all gonna end there, man. Well, I'm, I'm really trusted in you here, man. Got you, my man. Koala told me the best thing I can do is run for the center and build a base. Everyone will spawn on the outside, and their first instinct will be killing the person that's next to them. But if I can slip out from the crowd and sneak my way into the middle of the arena and build a base, eventually the zone will end up in the middle, and by the time it gets to the middle, 90% of the arena should be dead. It's risky, and I have no idea if running to the center right at the beginning will work, but it's the best thing I've got going for me. We have 16 minutes until we get into the middle. But as I was prepping my final minutes before the arena, a familiar voice joined me again. What's, what's going on, man? Oh my god, what's, what's you scared up? the shit out of me, Tackler. Listen, man, I, I'm i a guilty man, okay? I've done a lot of things, Tackler. Okay. I did hear you before talking to yourself, and I was very yes. confused what, what's going see, on. See, Lighthouse makes you go crazy. How is the conscious feeling? Because from what I see, you're overwhelmed with guilt. Is that something you're willing to live with for the rest of your life? Tackler, whatever I have to do to bring this W home and represent Team Fancy Orb, I will do it, okay? There was two people, all right? Two people that spawned near this lighthouse and I, I had to put them down tacular all right they're, oh they're, my God, i know man. i know i had to put them down but wow. i need to get to the end tacular I, I told you i was going to you said i was oh, smart you were hyping no. me up this is your fault yeah. you made me kill those guys you no, said no. i was no, smart. no 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 listen here how about you shut your fucking mouth you're losing it you're losing it this lighthouse is doing things to your brain it's all the fucking chemicals get it together man You've got 11 minutes to the last zone. Slap yourself on the face. Jump in the water near you if you have to. Okay, okay. You need to get it together, man. You're fucking losing it. You are going to shred through every mother in that fucking dome. You hear me? Right, you right. fucking hear me, bro? I hear you, I hear but you. But get a better gun and frag everyone else in the zone, okay? Can right, you do that for me? I will. Thank you so much. Thank you. No worries. Good luck, man. All right, he's lost. Fancy's That guy's he's gone. I don't know what's going on, but he's mentally checked out. I could play this really dirty. Yeah, I think we need to. You might be wondering why am I wasting my valuable resources for a sofa? Well, not only did I speak to playtesters for this tournament this week, I spoke to one of the smartest trap basers in this game for sneak advice to help me in the arena. Alright, Casey Mill, I'm going against a bunch of chads in a tournament soon and I suck at PvP. Do you know any sneaky tactics I could use to my advantage or anything like that? <laughs> Do you know about the, uh, the couch trick? So, let, let me, let me build it first. Okay. Uh, how we did now, it. one thing about Casey Mill is he's extremely smart. I had no idea what he was building, but he knows something here that I don't. Okay, and then we have it as a two by two. Okay. Um, <laughs> there we go. All right, so this hands down is the most broken strat that you can possibly do in the game right now. So you put the couch right there, you oh. place those, and now come sit down on this couch. Oh, you have a gun. I can see it. <laughs> oh my god! This is great. I'm gonna do this in your honor. All right. I will say one thing though, because yes. it is, it is an exploit, so you gotta be kind of careful. I am scared, Mr. Fleck. I'm going with your hammer. This is for you, since I saw you at Lighthouse earlier. It was the final minutes of the PvP stage before all the survivors would be teleported in the Dome Arena. I said my final goodbye to the Lighthouse. Well, this is it, Lighthouse. I appreciate all the memories we had. We were able to kill two people together. We met demons, we met angels who communicated to us. Overall, I wouldn't say we did too bad. We got an SMG, 
We got full kitted together and we are ready for the arena. And I do not regret this at all. So I appreciate you, Lighthouse. Someone's here. What? Fancy, are you shooting at me right now when PvP is disabled? Wait, why is PvP you disabled? Why is PvP disabled? Look at the top right. We're getting teleported. You scared me, man. You this would have is... taken two of my lives. Now that PvP is disabled, would you like to talk about it? Like what happened earlier? Address the elephant in the room. Listen, bro, you were scaring me earlier and... I scared you? What? what is... Are you just going to charge at someone with that, bro? bro? Like, look at all the chads in there with AKs and bolties and shit. You, th you really think you stand listen. a chance, Cup? Do you really listen. think you stand one? I don't even stay on chance and I know that, but my like, strat I'm only relying on my strategy. <laughs> Good luck up. Okay, here it is. The arena. We're going for the we're going for the, right for the center. I was teleported into the arena and this was the moment. All 23 survivors in this dome were ready to battle this out. Running to the center may be a suicide mission, but the final playtester I spoke to this week gave me great advice. Alright, another playtester told me I should run out to the middle, and it seems like a suicide mission. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but how do I get to the middle? You always wanna have high walls on you. If you get shot at, if you need to build, if you need to block anyone, you always wanna be careful. People are gonna be trying to make bases, they're gonna be trying to make huge towers. You're telling me people are gonna be building bases in the arena yes 100 percent. probably want to wear as much camo as possible there's a lot of trees there's a decent amount of rocks i'm gonna bring this home thank you so much it'll work man throughout the grace period and pvp stage i was crafting high wood walls for cover and making a camouflage kit to help me run towards the middle there's tons of trees grass and rocks that'll help me sneak through the middle as well if i can get to that center i'm booking it to that center the great run towards the center and there I was, running to the center, praying not a single person would see me out in the open. Now, how did I end up in a dome arena with some of the best PvPers in this game? I still have no clue. But just for a second there, as my adrenaline was rushing, I thought to myself, I could win this. Slap yourself in the fucking face, jump in the water near you if you have to. You need to get it together, man, you're fucking losing it. You are going to shred through every motherfucker in that fucking dome. You hear me? You fucking hear me, bro? Okay, we made it. Oh my god. Let's do this. And now we build. I found a spot that was close enough to the middle and I got my base down. But I didn't have enough resources to upgrade the roof, so it was a bit risky. This is so bad. I don't even have enough resources. So according to Casey Mo, I should be able to sit in this. And I do. Oh my god. Okay. I'm in through the door right now. I'm invisible, I think. I set up the couch trick, so if anyone walked outside my base, I could kill them with this exploit. But I heavily underestimated what Casey Mo told me earlier. It is an exploit, so you gotta be kind of careful. What? Yo, chill, chill. Don't do this, please. Yo, whoever's doing this, why? Eliminated players were now closing and opening my door because as we learned earlier This is one of the many things that they can still do This leaves me at a severe disadvantage because now outside players were interacting and opening my door And if anyone sees or hears this they could easily kill me The people realized I could actually do this and they didn't want to see me win But my angel from earlier lost saw this unfair treatment of people opening my doors and he tossed me something extremely useful What? Oh my god, I just got a c4 Thank you, Lost. Thank you. Other creators were calling this out in the chat, but they didn't realize the people were with me. My other creator friends were starting to drop me notes, helping me with advice. I know, I know. I'm out of resources. Even stone to upgrade my unfinished roof. Yes, please. Drop the stone. Please, 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 please. Yes, let's go. Let's go. And even mushrooms so I could heal. My close friends in this event had my back, helping me fight against the people trying to get me killed. But my ops were one step ahead of me because my angel boss, who was there from the beginning, was banned from the server. No, Lost got banned. They don't want to see me win. Now I just had to wait. Wait for everyone to die as the border gets smaller and smaller. One at a time, watching crater after crater die in the chat. The only issue was I didn't exactly calculate the middle of the arena and I was slightly off. Which means eventually I need to leave my base when the border gets to me. Another person eliminated. Oh my god, we're, we're actually doing it. We're actually doing it. I hear someone outside my base. Someone is outside my base right now. <gasps> oh my god. No way, I'm top five. We're top five. I had made it to the final four, but the border was now at my base and I had to start moving. Alright, here we go. going over to 
that Bolte because that is where Albin is. Yep. My heart is pounding right now. No. You have some pushing. Oh, Fancy, that's... Fancy might get that. Fancy oh, might get that. Yeah, yeah, Fancy's yeah, got yeah. it. Fancy's yeah. got it. Oh, oh Fancy's gonna show. Fancy's gonna show. Oh, Fancy! Oh, 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 Fancy's gonna pick. Fancy's gonna pick. Oh, oh Yuxum. Oh. Yuxum again. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Now right here, it looks like I should see Yexum in my POV. But a hemp plant was blocking my vision. No, I died. Unfortunately, I was eliminated. And for those who were curious who won, it was another creator named Albin. I can't believe it, dude. <laughs> now, you might be curious why did I make this video if I lost? Well, it's because I didn't see it as a loss. I was actually really happy making it fourth place. No one was expecting me, Fansorb, a non pvper to get to final four. The fact that I outsurvived so many people using these goofy strategies and it actually worked fulfilled me alone. And it just goes to show sometimes you don't need to be the best pvper to win sometimes. So, to Green and Gup, I'm so sorry for killing you earlier. And to my Habibis, Lost, Confusion, and Harvest, I appreciate you boys having my back in the arena. And who knows, maybe there's gonna be another Rust tournament in the future. But if there's a creator listening right now, you better not go to Lighthouse.